Now this fabric is folded into two. I folded this fabric into two. Now this is how it is. I folded it into two. Now this is how it is. So I folded it this way, just like this. So I'm going to fold it again into four, just like this. So I folded it into four. Hello guys, my name is Amaka and this is Nizama Stitches. You're welcome to today's tutorial. Thanks for being here. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make a butterfly dress. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do now I'm going to start by taking my vertical measurement. Now, from the shoulder to the waist. Now, the shoulder to the waist point is 17 inches. 17 inches. I'm trying to be careful with this dress. I'm trying to be careful with the fabric because I don't want the, the chalk to stay in the fabric. That's why I'm using this color of chalk. So, please bear with me. Bear with me. Now, so, our shoulder from shoulder to waist point is 17 inches. Seventeen inches. Shoulder to hip point. Now from the waist point, I'm going to mark eight inches. From the waist point, I'm marking eight inches, which gives me my hip point. And the full length of the dress is four is forty one inches. The full length of the dress is forty one inches, and I have one inch hemming allowance here. I have one inch hemming allowance here. Forty one and one inch hemming allowance. one and one inch hemming allowance now i'm going to connect the points now i've extended the line now this is my waist point this is my hip point and this is the hem of the dress this is the full length and this is the hemming allowance now i'm going to the next thing i'm going to do is to take the neck measurement now the neck measurement i'm working with is four inches i'm going to be working with four by four four inches neck width Four inches neck width and four inches neck depth. Four inches neck depth. And I'll connect the points. Just like this. The next thing I'm going to do is to take the shoulder measurements. Now the shoulder measurement I'm working with, the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 gives you 8 inches. So I'm going to mark 8 inches here. I'm going to mark 8 inches here. So this is my 8 inches. And the length of the sleeve. Now from this point, from this shoulder point, this shoulder measurement that I took here, I'm going to take the sleeve measurement from here, just like this. Now the sleeve measurement is the sleeve measurement is 23 inches plus one inch hemming allowance plus one inch hemming allowance. That means I'm using the whole of this fabric. I'm using the whole of this fabric. I'm not cutting off anything. So I have 23 inches here plus one inch hemming allowance. So that's my sleeve length. So that's my sleeve length. Now. Now from this point, from this shoulder point, I'm going to, I'm going to come, I'm going to impute my armhole measurement. Now the armhole measurement I'm working with, the armhole measurement I'm working with is 16 inches. 16 divided by 2 gives you 8 inches. Now this is 8 inches, but because of the style of this dress, so this is 8 inches, but because of the style of this dress, I'm not going to use this 8 inches for the armhole. If I use this 8 inches for the armhole, 
the dress is going to be awkward around the armhole. So I'm going to add I'm going to add three inches to this to this eight inches, which means I'm going to be using eleven inches for my armhole at my armhole depth. So this is eleven inches. I'm marking eleven inches. So now on this point, on this point, I'm going to take the bust measurement on the on now this is my check now this is my check point. This line, this line that I just marked here is my check point. Now I'm going to take my I'm going to take my bust measurement on this line. Now the bust circumference I'm working with, the bust circumference I'm working with is 38 inches. 38 divided by 4 gives you 38 divided by 4 gives you 9.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 9.5 inches here plus 1 inch for ease. You notice the free dress. So I'm using 1 inch for ease plus 1 inch for ease puts you here. Now on the waist point, this is the waist point. This is my waistline. On the waist point, I'm going to take the waist measurement on the waist point. So the waist circumference I'm working with is at 4 inches. It's at 4 inches. Set 4 divided by 4 gives you 8.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 8.5 inches here. Plus 1 inch for ease. So this is my 1 inch for ease. Now the next measurement I'm going to take is the hip measurement. Now on the hip, I'm going to take the hip measurement on the hip point. Now the hip circumference I'm working with is 42 inches. 42 divided by 4 gives you 42 divided by 4 gives you 10.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 10.5 inches here. 10.5 inches plus 1 inch for ease puts you here. Okay. Now the same on now on the hem, I'm going to take the hip measurement on the hem. Now the hip, this measurement I have here, this same measurement I have here, 10.5 inches. I'm going to mark 10.5 inches here. That is a quarter of the hip circumference plus one inch for ease. Puts you here. So I'm now I'm going to connect the points. I'm going to connect the points just like this. So I'll connect the boss point to the hip. And to connect this point, I'm going to connect the waist point to the hip point, just like this. Now, I'm going to connect this point to this point. I'll connect the hip point to the hem, just like this. So this is it. Now take note. I drafted this pattern. Now I drafted. I'm drafting on the main. I'm drafting on the right side of this fabric. I'm drafting on the right side of this fabric. That's why I'm using this chalk so that the chalk will not stain the the fabric. So I'm drafting on the right side of the fabric, not on the wrong side. Take note. Now on this point, I'm supposed to shape here. I'm supposed to trim this part, but I'm not going to do that because. The client doesn't want the client wants this part to drop. You understand? The client wants this part to drop. You know, different people with their different choices. So I'm not going to be trimming this part. Now, if you want to trim yours, all you need to do is to come up now from this point. You can either come up by three inches. You can come up by three inches and you mark it. And you connect it with your free hand, you connect it back to this point. To this point to, to this your hip to this hip point to this point but i'm not going to be doing that so i'm going to cut the neck so this is the only thing i'm going to be cutting off from this dress so now i'm going to pin down this line because i'm not cutting off anything as i'm taking this this dress to my sewing machine i'm going to follow this i'm going to follow this the pin or the chalk the mark i'm going to follow the mark which is the pin that I'm going to pin down. I'm going to follow, I'm going to use it and so I'm just going to sew this down. So now, for me to, now for me to transfer this mark, this mark that I have here, for me to transfer it to the other side of this fabric, this is what I'm going to do. You see where my hand is? Now this is the chest point. Now this is the chest point. Now I'm touching my hand from here. I'm touching my hand from here. And because of the way this fabric is, 
because of the way this fabric is the chalk reflected here but i know you're not seeing it i know you're not seeing the, the color of this chalk so now this is what this is what i'm going to do i'm going to mark now i'm touching my finger from here and this is my chest point so i'm marking it now this is my waist point this is the waist this is the waist measurement so i'm touching my finger from here i'm going to mark it i'm marking it now from here now from here this is my hip point this is my hip point and this is the hip measurement so now i'm touching my finger from here i'm also going to mark it i'm going to mark it now the same thing i'm going to do here i'm going to do the same thing here i'm marking it so now after that I'm going to pin this down. I'm going to use pin. I'm going to secure this place with my pin. I'll secure it. I'm going to pin it down and I'll pin the other side. Then I'll take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to follow the pin and sew. I'm just going to sew it down. I'm not cutting anything. So this is what I'm going to do. So I've secured this part. Now I've secured this part. I've pinned it down. So now here, these marks that I gave here, this is the chest point, this is the waist point, this is the hip point. So I'm going to connect the same way I connected. I connected this one. I'm also going to connect these ones. So now I'm connecting this chest point to the waist, just like this. Connecting the chest point to the waist. And I'm connecting the waist to the hip. I'm placing my cuff ruler this way. And I'm connecting the hip. I'm connecting this point to this point, just like this. So I'm going to pin it down the same way I pinned this part. I'm also going to pin here to so secure it. I'm going to pin it down. So I pinned it down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to follow this pin, this line, and I'll sew. I'm going to sew here. And for this part, I'm also going to follow this pin that I pinned and I'll just sew it down. And after that, I'm going to hem this part. I'll hem this part and I'll hem this part. After hemming this part, I'll hem the lower part. I'm going to sew the neck. After that, I'm going to display it on my mannequin for you to see the outcome. So I'll do it and show you what it looks like. So this is the dress. I'm done sewing. Now I've hemmed, I've sewn the neck and I've also joined the sides. I've joined the sides. So this is it. I've joined the sides. The same thing with this one. I've joined the sides and I've also hemmed the lower part. I also hemmed the sides. So that's just it with this tutorial. I'm going to wear it on my mannequin so that you can see what it looks like. So if you found this tutorial helpful, Please give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, share this video in your sewing groups, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Lizama Stitches. We've come to the end of this tutorial, thanks for watching, see you in my next video, bye!